Hey guys, happy Thursday. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Um, remember that we have those classes at 5 a.m. noon and 5 p.m. So if you're jumping on those, no need to watch this video. Um, your coach will tell you what's up. Uh, we are also doing coffee with coach meetings over the next few weeks. So get signed up with your coach for that. Um, those will be split between Morgan, Ewan, and I. So um, check out which coach you should be making an appointment with and make an appointment with them. Um, also today we're having a active recovery seminar with our physical therapist, Matt. So make sure you check that out at 4 p.m. Um, all of this will be in the email today. And then tomorrow we have disco theme. So we'll be using, again, that virtual background. Um, we'll have a disco one that we'll send out to you guys, but a sample of a virtual background are these different guys. You can upload your own. Um, so we'll be using those for tomorrow. Uh, or yeah, yeah, for Friday. For today, we're gonna get warmed up right into it. Um, that question of the day though is, what is one thing you are afraid of? So for that question of the day, um, I'll share one thing that I'm afraid of. Um, I guess I'm afraid of spiders. I know it's an irrational thing to be afraid of. Um, thankfully, I live in like the sixth story of a high rise and I have very little interaction with spiders now. Aside from at the gym, I mean, they definitely were there and they'll be back. Um, but yeah, spiders are one of my fears. Again, irrational. For today, we'll get warmed up and then we'll break down that pre-wad. We've got some new movements here for you. Um, and then our wad today, pogo stick. So we'll learn a new movement called the pogo and a new movement, which is the reverse burpee um, and some scaling for both of those. So getting warmed up, we've got 30 seconds of different movements here. We're gonna start with skipping in place. So 30 seconds of skipping, that can be however you like to skip. So if you like high knees, skip. I don't think you'll skip for distance in place. That'd be kind of weird. After that, we'll go into 30 seconds of air squats. And we're going to go into bulldog. You'll go 15 seconds forward, 15 seconds backwards on that right leg. So with bulldog, you're in a nice table position, lifting your hip as high as you can get it, straighten that leg back. All right, so lifting the hip, straighten the right back, and then swooping back around. 15 seconds there. And then you'll switch directions, so you'll kick it out first, and then loop it around. After that, you'll switch sides. I'll show that from the front. So you'll switch sides, you'll kick it back, knee comes out, down, 15 seconds, and then 15 seconds of the reverse direction. So it's just staying on the same leg, you're just switching, um, whether you kick back first or lift first. After those bulldogs, we'll get into in-place bear crawls. Um, we did this with the kids' class. We called it walking in sticky honey. But for you guys, just bear crawling in place. You can try it out. Get those shoulders and hamstrings warmed up. And then we'll go into warrior squat, squatting, twisting up to the ceiling. We'll get after all of those three times through. After we're good and warm, we're gonna spend about 20 minutes working on the legs, working on the lower half. So we have a few different movements. You're gonna do static lunges each side. Um, so a static lunge means we're gonna hold our lunge position, very similar to one thing that we talked about on Monday um, with those lunges, is activating both, both glutes at the same time. So learning how to balance out those hips, even though there's a stagger in your body. So we're gonna step back into a reverse lunge and hold in a really active position for six, step it back up, step back, hold for five, step it up, step back, hold for four, so on and forth, so forth till one, then we'll switch legs, do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna get into Russian leans, which I'll show a few different scaling options for those. Um, and if you have nothing to hold your feet for the Russian lean, you're gonna do a four count good morning. Um, and then we're gonna do 20 Cossack squats. Um, all of this, aside from the Russian leans, so the static lunge and the Cossack squat should be done with weight if that's doable for you. Um, and we're gonna rest between those rounds and get through three to five, five rounds. 
no more than 20 minutes of work here though. So getting those legs fired up. Um, but really the purpose of this, right, it's always technique work with those pre logs. So we want to think about that proper technique um, here. So with that lunge, just to kind of get it warmed up, go ahead and just step back, find that nice 90 degree angle, that full front leg, that full uh, heel and the foot, heel and the foot, weight in the heel of the foot, deriving out of the heel. So what that stag lunge is gonna look like with or without weight, you're gonna step back, static hold, not touching that knee to the ground, but keeping those hips square. You're gonna hold here for six, step it up, step back, hold for five, squeezing both those glutes, butt cheeks, Keep those hips square, step back up, step back to hold for four. Again, staying engaged, step it up, stepping back, holding for three, up, two, and then one. And you'll switch legs and do that same thing. Again, stepping back, finding that good active position. If I were to go from the front, you guys can see that my hips are squared up and, lean, er, and even here, right? I'm not like leaning one way or pushing my hip out. I'm activating to hold both those glutes. So if adding weight is too much, don't worry about adding weight. Then we have the lean. So the scale option um, is gonna be just working on a good morning, setting those hips back for a one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, snap up. Keeping that chest angle nice and high, getting those hamstrings fired up. If you're able to, if you have a partner, that works best. They can hold your feet, but if you don't have a partner, you can use something like your couch or a dumbbell. I'm gonna try the dumbbell here. Um, I tried the couch and it's too small. So what you're gonna do here is find something to hold you down. Putting your feet underneath that weight. Maybe not that way. I'm repeating the couch again. Um, we'll go with the couch. So, for that, let's see if I can show this. Get a good angle here. You're going to get your feet underneath something. You're going to control yourself down for four. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Use your hands. Three, one thousand, four, one thousand. And then you can push up, or you can send those hips back and then push. So you can use your hands to help if you need them. If you're able to hold yourself in control all the way down, you will. But one, one thousand, two, one thousand. I need to use my hands. Three, one thousand, four, one thousand. And then to push up, you can also push that butt and then come up, depending on what you can get through here. Um, if somebody's holding on to you, it's a little bit easier to control where those hips and how fast they go. You can stick out your arms right from the beginning too and just control one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four. Press those hips back and return up if you need to. Should be feeling this in those hamstrings today. Then we're gonna get into our Cossack squat. So for that Cossack squat, we're gonna take our kettlebell, dumbbell, whatever we have, um, and add it to a front load if we can. What we wanna see here is that those hips are going down and back, and that weight is staying in the outside foot. So nice wide stance here. You're gonna send those hips down, back, drive that knee out, single leg, and drive up. Switching to the other side, drive up. We'll do 20 total, alternating through those sides. So adding that load if you can, you can hold it in that front arm position. Really want to keep that chest nice and high as we do this. Working to send those hips down and back. If you can break that 90 degrees, see that hip crease, then we want to do that. One big thing with that classic squat, you want to think about turning your toes out so that you can send that weight down and back and drive that knee out. If your toes are forward, it's a lot harder to send that weight out and back. 
just slightly turn around here, pressing through that full foot. We'll go through that three to five times, depending on what you can do. Um, you can add weight through the rounds if that's better. Try out the first round, really focus on that technique if the pre wad technique is the focus. For our wad today, we're gonna get after a pogo stick. So you have two different movements to get ready. Um, we'll break down what a pogo looks like. So a pogo is gonna be a plank, adding on a deadlift, then a lateral hop over. We're gonna do an AMRAP of those, so as many rounds as possible in four minutes of just those. Um, and then every minute, the clock is gonna be, you're gonna do three reverse burpees. So first we'll talk about the reverse burpee because you're actually gonna start on the reverse burpee. Um, and then we'll break down what that pogo looks like. So for our reverse burpee today, it's actually what we would say is kind of like a sit up where you then have to get yourself, so you're starting standing, you're gonna go to the ground, lay down, throw your hands behind you and throw yourself up to get up. So there are lots of ways to do this. Um, one way is to create some momentum with the legs. So rocking back, snapping, getting yourself up. Um, scaling options for this would be to sit down, rock those hands behind you, and then push the floor away and get up like that. And if that's too challenging, you can actually just sit down and get back up. Um, the like options for getting to the ground, again, you kind of rock and snap yourself through. And then if you're really talented, which we'll see if I can show, you do here, and then you just snap yourself up. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> so all the different challenges, we'll do three reps of those every minute. So you're gonna start on those, and then you're gonna get after um, pogos, as many rounds as possible. We really wanna focus on these. We wanna focus on that deadlift. So we wanna make sure that we're lifting our weight with a nice upright chest. Um, we're gonna hit a plank position, then we're gonna deadlift up and then lateral hop over. So for that deadlift, both dumbbell heads will be on the ground or your kettlebell will be on the ground, chest nice and high, drop those hips, deadlift. We'll just go ahead and warm up five on each side of those. Once you're done warming up those, we'll trial the full pogo. So to show you this, I need room to get my plank on. You're gonna plank onto your dumbbell. So you're gonna be here, plank straight up, hop those feet up, chest nice and high, deadlift up, set the dumbbell back down, and then ladder <laughs> hop over. Sorry, the cat's in the way, that's one. Step, jump back, jump back up, stand up, set it down, that's two. That's three. Four, keep moving through, that clock beeps. You get in a quick three. Reverse burpees. And then you're right back on your pogos. Keeping track for a total count. You're then gonna rest for two minutes and get after that all again. You do not end on uh, the reverse burpee. You end at the four minutes wherever you're at on your pogo and then you keep adding on in that next round. So it'll be total reps over the full eight minutes of work. Two minutes of rest in the middle. Have some fun. Whew, out of breath from showing you a portion of the workout. Let me know how it goes. Enjoy the new movements.